What's up guys, Bucks County Batman here. This will be the first in a series of workout videos that you guys have been asking for. We're gonna start off with chest since chest is probably everybody's favorite exercise. I know it was my favorite growing up. All right, so let's get started guys. Whenever I start my chest workout, I like to really warm up. I'm starting to feel getting older, I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain in my shoulders. I usually start out with two or three warm up sets. This with uh, incline push ups. <laughs> Whenever I do push-ups or bench or use dumbbells, I'm always using the intention to kind of bring it together, like you're kind of forcing the earth together. Another thing, the reason people think it's weird that I wear this robe, gotta stay warm, gotta keep the muscles warm. So I start to work out with a robe, then as I start to get hot, I'll take the robe off, then I'll take off the pump cover and show you guys the physique. So I already did a few warm-up sets, so we're gonna jump right into our first warm-up set. Still warming up, but we're doing it with the barbell now. Always try to stay within an eight to 12 rep range. <laughs> Heavy today, because we had a little extra weight on there. So growing up, I kind of dabbled a little bit, starting out as a power lifter. At 12 years old, I was benching 240 pounds. A lot of people ask me what my max bench is. I wound up getting up to 405. Could have probably gotten to 500, but I see a lot of my friends tear their chest, tear their shoulders. So I started to cut back and focus more on squeezing the muscle and focus more on bodybuilding rather than power lifting. I'm gonna show you guys my three favorite chest exercises. And I'll tell you the exercise, my least favorite chest exercise. We'll do the second warm up set. We usually do four to five working sets. I think today we're only gonna do four since it's getting late and I'm feeling it in my back. I pulled my back earlier today. <laughs> So I'm always intense to bring it down slow, two seconds down, one second up. Okay guys, so we're going on to our first working set. I threw some weights on there. I'm gonna try and get about eight reps with this. Remember, two seconds down, one second up, and the intention is to bring the bar together. <sighs> Guys, I injured my back earlier today. I have no idea what's going on with it. I'm gonna take a trip to my buddy at the Joint Chiropractic, Thomas Mandis. He usually puts me back together. I have no idea what's going on with my back. I'm also not training super heavy. As I'm getting older, I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain in my shoulder. The main thing is, I talk about a lot. I broke my neck four years ago doing gymnastics. I fell off of a salmon ladder. It's affected a lot of my pressing movements, so. I don't try to do anything stupid, just maintain the muscle. Even working out light, light, I was able to maintain most of my muscle. Another thing, guys, I'm in the middle of a prep. I am not super lean right now. I believe I'm about, actually, I should have removed the pump cup. Uh, he clipped me at 8% body fat. I believe I'm closer to 10, but I'll have my body fat tested. As you diet down and you drop the pounds, you're not gonna press as much weight. The more weight you have, the more you're gonna be able to press. It's just the way it works. So we're gonna do one more working set, guys. Back is killing me right now. Shoulders feel okay. Let's do this. I also go a little bit close. It's just a habit. My triceps are probably a little bit stronger than my chest, so try and go a little bit wider. Try to stay within shoulder width or slightly wider than shoulder width. Okay. I was only able to get six. Uh, another thing I'm touching my chest if you come to if you could bring the bar two to three inches above your chest Whatever feels comfortable your shoulder. You don't want to force it you force it your shoulders are going to internally or externally rotate You don't want that just stay within your active range of motion We're going to Move on to my second favorite exercise would be incline dumbbell. So the best exercise the king of chest exercises would be the barbell bench press but like I said, you're not gonna handle as much weight with the dumbbells, but the dumbbells are gonna be a little bit more comfortable. Put your shoulders in a little bit more of a comfortable position. We're gonna go on to the incline dumbbells. Stay within the eight to 12 rep range. Two seconds down, one second up. Optimal set length should be about 40 seconds. I'm probably going a little bit faster than that. Just trying to get through this workout today. <clears throat>
I'm gonna stay at that weight, guys. I got the cups. On Demand Press made these on Instagram. They turned out really nice. You notice when I press the dumbbells, I'm not bringing them all the way together at the top. What I want you to focus on, not bringing the dumbbells together, bringing your elbows together. Elbows, squeezing the chest at the top. Two seconds down, explode up. <clears throat> really thirsty tonight. We'll do another set. This is lightweight. Most I have dumbbell press was 120s. I wasn't even sure if I could do them. I actually banged them out like they were paperweights. Of course, I was a little over 200 pounds then. Right now, I'm at 175 pounds. 10% body fat. I'm going to diet down to 4% body fat. Let's go. <sighs> Set felt a little bit lighter as the central nervous system starts to wake up. You start to feel a little bit stronger sometimes as the sets go on. Go a little bit heavier for the next set. So we're going a little bit heavier, guys. Another thing I wanted to mention is I kick these dumbbells up with my knees. I don't know if you notice that when I do these. So we're going to stick with the eight rep range. We're going to do two more sets. I'm going to move on to our last exercise. <clears throat> Once again, feeling a little bit lighter now that I'm warmed up. We'll raise the weight one more time for the last set. Once again, show you the cup from On Demand Press. After the set, I'll remove the pump cover. I'll show you how the chest looks. I usually like to wait anywhere from one to three minutes in between sets. A lot of people, they think, especially when you're dieting, you think they think they have to move quickly in between sets, keep the heart rate up. Well, that, that is a form of cardio. It's gonna weaken my sets. I'm not gonna be able to lift as much weight. And uh, what we're trying to do is lift as heavy a weight as possible in the eight to 12 rep range to cause the most amount of muscle damage. If you wanna do cardio and get your heart rate up, do cardio. Don't do cardio with weights, it's one or the other. Right now we're trying to cause muscle damage. Don't, don't, don't worry about taking long rest periods, whatever it takes. Usually I would say optimal rest periods, a minute and a half, two minutes. Unless I'm doing something like a drop set, we're not, we're not gonna do, um, we're not doing any drop sets today just because of the back injury. Otherwise I might drop the weight and uh, do a few more sets with lower weight, but we're not gonna do that today. Stimulate, don't annihilate. Train, don't strain. Stimulate the muscle, get out of the gym, feed the muscle, and then rest. Rest and, and nutrition is just as important as the weights. It's 50 50. No, not one is more important than the other. All right, guys, last set. Let's go. Ah. Okay, so for the last and final exercises, we hit the flat uh, barbell bench and the uh, incline dumbbell. Another thing about the incline, guys, you don't wanna go super high on it. You're gonna hit more shoulders. You only wanna go with a slight incline. That's all you need to do. It's optimal. You're gonna be able to use more weight. You're gonna hit more chest. So if you're having a problem with the shoulder, you, instead of barbell bench, you could use dumbbell bench. Stick with the dumbbells. And uh, last and final exercise would be some type of a fly movement where you're going like this. I don't have any machines here. You could use a machine. The ex best uh, exercise is gonna be the one that you like the most. You're gonna put the most effort into the exercises that you like the most. So whether it be a machine or a cable, all I have are dumbbells, so I'm gonna go with the dumbbell. Just like with the bench, we're gonna bring elbows together. We're not bringing the dumbbells, we're not hitting the dumbbells together, elbows. Stop right around here, keep tension on the muscle. Come all the way down, you feel stretch and up, squeeze. You want to come up here, guys. This is CrossFit. I could hold it here all day long. Second, you bring it out here and you start to feel the tension pulling. That's where you want to be. You want to keep the tension on the muscle. I'm going to remove the pump cover, guys. A lot of people ask me about my scarring, guys. This one from the League of Assassins. I have them across my shoulder. That was from Catwoman. League of Assassins. Scars all over my body. You see the one on my arm. I also shaved my chest yesterday. I usually let the, my chest hair grow out in the off season. But as I get leaner, I like to, I like to trim it up. I feel like I look bigger once you shave the chest. Shows more detail. All right, guys. Two more working sets. Three more working sets. Squeeze. Two seconds down. Explode up. A 
comment below guys what you think my body fat percentage also comment below what you want to see me train next this is going to be my last set before i do my last set i had a rough day guys this never happened to me before cal ripped in half i talk about this cal every day on my live shows i go live on tiktok and i go live on instagram twice a day with cardio and a workout but i i pull on this i've been wearing this mask for almost eight years now and i've been pulling on it and it stretched the jawline all crazy but it never ripped. This mask is only two months old. Same designer. I don't know what happened. I, I wanted to stretch a little bit because it was too tight. So, you know, you should never put your mask on. You kind of pull it from the back. And, but I kind of took it off from here and it just, it just popped off. Luckily, I turned a negative into a positive. I'm going to make a YouTube video on how to repair this. Thought I was going to have to buy a whole new mask, cowl. But um, yeah, it's actually pretty easy to repair. So I'm going to make a YouTube on it. You guys can check it out. All right, last set. <sighs> guys i hurt my back so i just wanted to go a little bit lighter today more of a maintenance workout definitely didn't train harder than last time but we got in here it's late and we got the workout done thanks for watching guys comment below what you want to see next click the bell button subscribe to my other channels until next time guys watch the videos keep watching i'm glad you like them tomorrow we're going to fix the back i'm going to take you for a trip to the chiropractor you can meet my chiropractor he's kind of like a life coach to me thomas mandis and we're also going to show you how to repair the mask pushing out a lot more content so make sure you click that bell button so you don't miss anything and follow me on social media instagram and tiktok i'm going live twice a day with workout I answer all of your fitness questions a little flex to the chest I'm back guys, before I logged off last night, I think I forgot to talk about my all time worst chest exercise. That would be decline bench press, decline dumbbell, anything with a decline. Um, you already have too much lower chest, everybody has too much lower chest. So why would you train something that you have too much of makes absolutely no sense to me, unless you want a really big lower chest, which is strange. Um, you can never have too much upper chest, it's one of my weaknesses, you can never have too much shoulders, you never, never have too much calves, but lower chest, I don't know, doesn't make no sense, so stay away from the decline press. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go out now. I'm going to try to get the mask repaired. It's ripped last night. And comment below what you want to see next, what you want. Perhaps you want me to train legs next, shoulders. Let me know what you want me to train next. Thanks for watching, guys. Batman out.